Hello everyone, we are back with another round of Turing live code section and today you have a special guest on my side because yeah, I am her babysitter because my wife needs to go and work in the office, but I don't, yeah. So today I have uh, a problem to solve that you guys asked a lot to do, okay? Um, I'm gonna explain the process. I'm gonna explain the problem that we're gonna be solving today. And I hope you guys can help me to do that, right? So, hey, hi, Jose Silva. Hi, DSI Epic. How are you guys doing? Jose Silva from Brazil, right? And give me a big fat thumbs up if you work from home, because I do that. I work remotely since I remember, guys. All right, uh, who else we have here? Uh, El Wazi from Africa. Okay, thank you. Hopefully you are doing all right. Yes, yeah, this week I'm doing great, guys. But last week I was a little bit sick today, and they have to play tic tac toy with my daughters in a bit. Jephthan, see you uh, from Nigeria. Mauricio Bruno from Brazil, uh, he's a little girl, thank you, beautiful girl, thank you. And the problem that we are going to be solving today, and I need your help for that, is this one. We need to find, we need to find the first and the last position of an element in a sorted array, right? This is the problem 34, you guys can... Uh, search for it and can help me to solve it. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, I'm not actually working remotely, uh, DSI says, but you will, right? If you follow our tips, if you are uh, follow tutoring, you probably will get a job, right? Let's see, means knowledge. Yeah, that's it. All right, so. All right, so. So, 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 just need to ask my daughter too. Well, cool. Can we come here? Put your TikTok toy here. I will play with you. Come here. All right. All right. So, um, okay. Who else? Who else? Who else is there? Mauricio, let's ask you. Georgie. Hey, hey, George. George Prada. How are you doing? Hello, friends. All right. Okay, great, 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 great. All right. So, let's try to uh, understand the problem okay and solve that mm, the problem that we are gonna be solving today is this one find the oh you gotta see me one second ah uh, there you go there you go so find the first and the last position of an element in a sorted array right this is a medium problem because it's, the solution is not that trivial okay but it's I mean, once you start solving these problems uh, a lot of times, okay, once you keep practicing to solve coding challenge, this problem will be easy for you, right? Because I'm gonna, let go to this view again. So I'm gonna show you uh, why it's easy, right? So uh, we have a sorted array already, which will be uh, simple to work with because it's already sorted, right? Uh, and then you must, your algorithm must to, to do with a log n. Uh, this is challenge, right? This is challenge. 
Okay, this is the challenge that we're gonna face today. Solve it in O long N run runtime complexity. Okay, let me read for you. Given an integer of arrays, you uh, given an integer of arrays, nums sorted. Okay, nums is in our array. It's already sorted in no decreasing numbers. Find the starting and the end position of a giving target. So we have two variables to work today. We have nums, which is our red sorted array, and we have target, which is our target value, right? Which is a, if you look at this side, num is a, a array of integers and target is an integer. And we need to return one array, okay, with the start in the end position. And also we need to return, uh, an array of minus one to positions if target was if the target was not found right let's see maybe double binary okay let's see joseph Silver says could you talk about your life's agenda for the last month the next month jose carlos hello all right so let me talk about the lives uh for before we get started okay mauricio bruno um, maybe a double binary array. So let's let's we're gonna discuss the solution in a bit. So regarding the lives, okay, we are going live two times a week, okay, every uh, Wednesday and every uh, every Wednesday and every Friday at 10 a.m. PST. 10 a.m. PST is uh, 12 p.m. My time is. 2 p.m. Brazil time and it's depth in Nigeria. What 10 p.m. is? What time is 10 p.m. In, in Nigerian time? Okay. All right. So 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Uh, PST every Wednesday and every Friday. Don't miss that. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, let's go back to the solution. Example one. All right, the example one. We have uh, array five, seven, seven, eight, eight, and ten, and the target is ten. And we need to uh, we need to return three and four. Why? Zero, one, two, three. We need to return the index, right? The index for the first one, and four is the index for the. Uh, the last one. Second example. Nums, it's five, seven, seven, eight, eight, and ten. The target is six, right? The target is six. And we need to return double one array with two position two items, minus one, because uh, the target the target was not found. Okay, example three, we have an empty array, the target is zero, we have this. I wonder, I wonder if we have ta -ta -ta, just one element. For example, here we have, let's go to this view. So here we have nums with is a empty array and the target is zero, right? And if we return, uh, if you have just one element, zero, what should we return? Let's see if they, they mention anything here. Sorted array, find the start in the end position of a given value. They don't, they, they didn't mention anything about, um, about how many items it will be, right? But assuming the examples, uh, the array will have at least two elements right it will have at least two elements all right da, 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 change the music yeah all right so solutions let's check the chat now i have access to the chat okay uh i use the chat here in this side and i have an extra monitor here so now i have the chat here let's see um uh, what we what you guys have in mind so 
I see, uh, I don't, okay, let's go back to chat. Could we talk about the lives? The lives will be Wednesday and Friday, 10 a.m. PST. Uh, just will say thank you, DSA. Maybe some loops and tests. Yeah, Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m. UTC. I have to double check. It's, it is uh, 2 p.m. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. PST. Okay, DSI said. We have a for loop to nums. It will be an end solution, right? They want a log n. We can go for an n. Nums different than target. Okay. Maurice says it's a yeah. Maurice says it's look like time complexity O n. All right. So to reduce the complexity, right? Uh, what we can do? I'll give you an example. To reduce the complexity, we we could work with uh, binary search, right? Split the array in two and search in two parts at the same time. Or we could work with, I would say, two pointers, right? Position one is I. Let's work with two pointers. Let's work with two pointers. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's work with two pointers. All right. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, let me get the chat again. Chat, 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 chat. What is the chat? Miss the chat. What is the chat? One second. What is the chat? Let me find the chat because I missed the chat. One second. Okay, find the chat again. No. I lost the chat, guys. One second. Maybe I close it. Now I can. I cannot uh, what all right so one second okay find the chat one sec I move to another screen okay I found the chat again okay two variables two variables okay I found the chat again okay let's go Brian Jose Diaz said two variable first and left. Yeah, that is what we're gonna do today. Two variables, left and right. Uh, I'm from Ethiopia. Have to join you. Thank you, Ambassador. Nice to meet you. Okay, let's start with two variables, first and left. Uh, all right, so start with two variables, first and left, right? Uh, let because we need to change them right first uh first we'll receive uh first we'll receive minus one right last less is we'll also receive uh, minus one right one thing that we can do is uh return uh one array with first and uh, last right first first and left and if you execute this code it will return let's see it will return minus one if it will fail but it will pass in some tests so if you go to test case and use the examples we should pass in two tests let's check the difference yeah we pass in two tests, right? All right, so what else? Uh, if found is equal to true and numbers is equal to target, position one receive I and found true. Okay, so the way that I would approach that, okay, we need to loop through the elements, right? Let's do with this approach and then we see if we can improve that, okay? Uh, what, 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 we need to find one and find two and set true and set I. 
let's go with this approach okay uh, for let will receive what let will let's create let uh, i equals to zero right right dsi zero yeah zero and then uh, we need to loop through until i is less than the uh, the target dot length let me create it here uh, const uh, len will receive nums dot left not nums dot left right nums dot left we need to loop through until this guy is less than len right what else i'll increase by one for now okay for now i'm gonna increase by one i whoops i plus plus right and what we can do inside this loop you guys already did that you guys already did that right so if uh, we're gonna compare we're gonna compare uh, the, the element with target because we need to to set the target and if we are doing that we are from left to right okay so let's get um, number let's create a number that will be equal to who uh, numbers will be nums right i okay number will be this so if number is equal to target it means we found what we found first right so if we find first got you we found first we found first right we need to set the what we need to set we need to set the the are you guys seeing that, right? We need to set the... One second. We, we need to set... Because I miss you again. Okay. So if number is equal to target, we need to set the index. We need to save the index in first, right? Okay, so first we'll receive I. With this, with with this, we set it in I, right? Yes or not? Audio and video is 100% okay. Thanks. All right. So we set it. Uh, if we if the number is equal to target, right? We need to set this, right? But target in the end target needs to be equal to minus one which means the target was not found right oh not target number not number sorry first minus one right we are gonna check this so we're going to jump if for example if number right number is different from ta from target we don't need to to do anything we can skip that right we can skip so if we skip we are good we need to skip and then there's uh, um, okay dsi is saying uh, add a boolean variable set a position in the boolean variable yeah the index we must add a boolean okay where should we add the boolean here one sec let me put me back in the screen because i'm not seeing myself one second i see you guys but i don't see myself i don't know what you guys are seeing
all right now everything is okay now I can see you you can see me and I can see myself all right so if number is different than target we, we should skip right right it's something all right so if number is equal to target and, and first is equal to minus one, minus one, we need to do that. But look, then uh, last, last will receive I. So at the first time, we can do a else statement here, right? Else here. So if not, it will do this, right? Let's run this and see what we get. If you loop, okay, Joseph Silva is saying, if you loop to each element, it will be a ON. Yes, it is a ON. For now, this is a ON solution. Let's see if it, it, it will work this way. Yeah, it will work this way. It, it's passing in all the tests, right? All right, so let me submit this. Let's submit this and see uh, if it will pass in all the tests. If it passes on the tests, right? If it passes all the tests, I believe you are good, right? So. We are creating an array, get the left, loop until the, this, and we are doing this. Okay, let's da, 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 submit. It didn't pass. It didn't pass. You guys seen? You are not seen. Let's see. You are not. You are seen, right? It didn't pass. Why? Because we have this. The case that we talked in the beginning, right? How we cover that? How do we do? How do we cover that? Right, let's remove this and get this example. Okay, I'm gonna get this example. One, okay, if I missed that. How can I add the example? Okay, I, I add an array and add a target. Okay, the example will be one and my target will be one. It's the same here, right? You yeah, not see myself that this is getting. I don't see what you guys are seeing. Okay, let's try it again. Now it passed. Okay, now it passed. I'm gonna submit it again. You guys are seeing this, right? Because I'm not seeing myself. Okay, let's submit this and see if it will pass. Passed. Okay, but this is an end solution, right? What do we need? We need uh, a log n solution, right? We need a log n solution. How, how can we do that? Let me see the chat. Okay, let me check the chat. Oh, one second, let me check the chat. Chat, 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 chat. Keep missing, where's the chat? Okay, move, I'm moving the chat along, man. No, this is not good. Okay, now I can see you guys. All right, so this is an end 
you are seeing this success page as well. Yeah, it passed, right? So we are seeing the success page. Okay, great, it passed. But this is an end solution. We need a login, right? And how we do that? Let's go back to the description. How we do a login here? How we do a login here, guys? We can check. It just did the right now. Just variable if it's go to the target. Yeah, but we need to decrease this to a. Uh, we need to decrease this to a login. So how can we do that? And in ideas, I will let you guys know in a bit. In ideas. Two pointers in the same loop. Two pointers in in a loop, one from start and one from the end. Exactly. We can do this, right? Because I'm not seeing myself. But hey Jose, rejected from no technical interview, whatever it says the reason. We can check the I can let you, Aladdin, few question. Uh, I can let you ask question in the end, okay? So we need to do that in two loops, right? So let's try to do it in the two loops, okay? So we are gonna go from the left to right, okay? And from the right to the left. I'm going to, but it will do the same. You know what? I wanna hear that from you. Okay, let me be here and lower the music. So, I would like to see your solutions, okay? And this is part of the, one second, let me just see myself in the screen because I'm not seeing myself. For this, for this, I would like to, to hear from you. Okay, let me find myself, One, just one second, okay. From this, I would like to hear from you, okay? You know the problem. I showed you one solution, okay? You guys already told me how to do that using a login. I will give you a homework to do. And please, uh, solve this problem and write this page, okay? When you submit, when you submit, it you, you will see this page. Okay, what I want from you, hit, uh, you're not seeing. Okay, once you submit, okay, you are gonna see this page. And then what I want to hear from you, click in the, the last submission, it will generate a report, okay? You are gonna copy the report URL and add a message. Uh, um, a comment in this video, okay? But one thing that I want you guys to do, okay? Do not look for the solution on web, okay? Try to make your own solution. I will review all solutions, okay? And then I'll give you a feedback, okay? Uh, please don't look at the internet for possible solution. Try to do your, uh, your own solution and come back to this live and add a comment with your solution here okay i will take a few minutes to answer questions okay let's see uh binary binary search work binary tree works we can use binary search yes it works if you use i'm gonna give you a few uh let's see me if you use two pointers and go one from the right and one from the left, it also work, okay? Uh, Jose, are the comments enabled for these videos? Yes, the comments are enabled, okay? I would like to, hear, to, to see your solution, your authentic solution, okay? Not the one from Google, because if I want to see the Google solution, I go to Google by myself and search for the solution. I want to see your solution and they, I will analyze and I will give you a feedback, okay? What else? Uh, I will 
I will take some five minutes to 10 minutes to answer any questions related to tutoring. So if you have any question, uh, write in the chat. Okay, I'm going to take five to 10 minutes to answer questions. Okay, I will start with the Aladdin uh, question. Hi, Jose, I have rejected from a non-technical interview. Uh, the interviewer says the reason you have only two years and 10 months of experience. Now, what can I do? You work for a non-technical interview. Okay, what I recommend you to do. So you have less than three years, but in two months, you have three years, right? Which is required. What I recommend you to do, come back to every live. Okay, we do because we are solving problems. Come back to every live and improve your skills. Okay, what is your tech stack? What's your tech stack? Okay, tell me your tech stack and uh, what I recommend you to do. Brush up your skills, brush up your uh, algorithm skills, come back to all, all lives. We are gonna solve it together because in two months you will be eligible for, right? And then it will give you, a, a, I'll say, uh, take this time to improve yourself. All right, let me check. Any other question? Non-technical interview, yes. Yeah, sometimes they do that, right? The company is too big but we want you all here, okay? So, any other question? No, I think we are good to go, right? Good to go? All right, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I loved your contribution, okay? Keep it doing that. Every single uh, life I learned from you, we solve this, uh, this problem together today. Uh, next Wednesday, I will come back with another SQL problem because you have you guys have requested for next Wednesday SQL problem and uh, next Friday uh, algorithm problem. Is that okay? And Bezet says I passed in my coding challenge in Turing yesterday. That should what should I do next to join quickly as possible. Okay, you pass in the coding challenge, uh, go to your profile, it's developers.turing.com. Let me put the link here, developers.turing.com. Okay, uh, Ebenezer, go to your profile and check uh, if the get method was enabled on the left side. If so, hit that and then it will tell you the next step. Okay, but I'm glad you pass it. Okay, George said, uh, please, I have a question on the yesterday Python 3 challenge. Go ahead, go ahead. Ask your question. But what you know what's better? Uh, it's better if you write the comments, a comment, your question in the comments, okay? So, um, the solution, for, for today is that's it. Okay, I'm, uh, the, for today that's it. Let me share the link with you guys. I'll share the link for this solution. You guys can take a look. And you, I hope you guys do the same with me, okay? Solve the problem and share your solution with me. I, want, I would like to learn from you, okay? Uh, let me see the Maurice says. After a non-technical review, what's the next step? After a non-tech interview, how do I know if you pass? How do you know if you pass in the technical interview? They will let you know immediately. Okay, George uh, George said, I passed, the, I passed the challenge. So, if you pass the challenge, go to your profile at Turing and uh, check the get method uh, menu item on your left. Okay, it will let you know the next step. You probably need to work on your resume. Okay. Um, okay, if you have any query, okay, you have to end, send an email to support at turing.com. 
ok? Support at Turing.com Support, I right? can you share the solution to that? Support at Turing.com Support at Turing.com Ok, I would like you guys to share the solution in a comment and if it's not possible, I'm gonna send you my email, jose at tuning.com. Okay, you can email me uh, and I will analyze your solution. Sounds good. All right, that's it for today. Okay, next Wednesday. I hope to see you all again next Wednesday. It will be a SQL challenge. Okay, SQL challenge because you ask, you guys ask it for. Uh, every Wednesday, SQL, every Friday, Algorithm. And if you want to know uh, more from Turing, okay, if you want that we, for example, uh, if I invite someone from Turing to talk about payment, to talk about the vetting process, to talk about anything, leave a comment in this live, okay? I want to hear from payment, I want to hear from the vetting process, I want to hear more from the what else? For the non-technical interview, let me know in the comments. I will bring someone from Turing in live to answer all your questions. Okay, as that said, that's a wrap, a real wrap. I hope to see you all again next Wednesday, okay? Book on your calendar. Don't, re don't forget to send me your solution. Uh, and if you have any query, support at Turing.com. As that said, that's a real wrap. I love this session with you guys. Hope to see you again next Wednesday. Till then, keep safe, keep practice, okay? See you. Take care. Bye.